Wait, never mind. There it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> to do this project, what you need to do is in Lesson 3, CS5, do you guys see this? There is a Lesson 3 extra selecting. You need to open that up. All right. Now, you will not have these America, because that's my other periods I did that in. So what you want to do is you want to right click on sky, right click, and then go down to open with and open with Photoshop CC 2018. All right. So then what you need to do is once you have the sky open is you need to click back on the folder here and drag in the other items that are going in this project. Now watch how I drag it on guys. I'm dragging it right here. Notice where my um, mouse is. Okay. And I'm going to drag, um, first I'm going to drag in, because we got this guy, I'm going to drag in the flag because that's next. All right. And then I'm going to drag in the um, eagle. That's net. Oops. Before I drag it in, sorry. Uh, you have to check it first. You have to accept it. There we go. Check on it. All right, then I'm gonna go to the eagle and drag it on. And then I'm gonna accept that. And the last thing I'm gonna drag in is the jet, which is right here. And now I checked and accept that. So we have all our images in this. Now I'm gonna right click on this because these layers have to be rasterized. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna rasterize layer. Right click on the eagle, rasterize layer, and right click on the flag and rasterize layer. All right, so the next step is to hide the layers um, that you added except for the, um, the flag layer because we're going to work with that right now. So what you want to do is make sure that the flag layer is selected. You see this, how I can select that? There's the eagle, there's the jet. I want to select. Uh, select the flag layer right now and I want to use the quick selection tool to select the sky in the flag layer so I'm going to click and drag over the section all right now notice that it actually gets some of the flag that's okay we're going to fix that right now so to fix that I'm going to click right here see this right here that's the quick uh, quick mass mode button that's really important what happens is this allows us to select areas with the paintbrush that aren't selected or not select things with the eraser tool um, that aren't that shouldn't be selected. Okay, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's actually a different way of selecting something. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the paintbrush. I'm going to make my brush a lot bigger here, and I'm going to increase, make sure that the hardness on my brush is 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag on with my paintbrush, and look at that. The places that are not red, I'm going to go ahead and paint over to make them red. There it is, like there. Okay, that looks good. So now, um, if I get out of quick mass mode by clicking that button again right here, you'll see that now that section at the top is selected. So now, with the flag layer selected and you, and you rasterize it, you right-clicked and rasterize it. See, I can't do it because it's gray now. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit backspace and delete that section up there. Then I'm going to go to select and I'm going to go to deselect to select the selection. Now over here on the flag layer still selected right here is the opacity. See this? I'm going to click on there. There's opacity right there. I'm going to make the opacity of the flag 40%. So I'm going to go 40% right here. Okay. Uh, close enough. It's 41, whatever. I don't care. All right, that's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and hide my flag. I'll keep the background still in there. And I'm going to show the eagle because now I'm going to select around the eagle. I have to make sure that the eagle layer is selected. If it's not, the selection won't work well. As a matter of fact, watch this. If I have the jet selected, watch this. And I go with quick, quick selection tool to select the eagle. Look at that. It's all over the place. It doesn't work. You have to have the eagle layer selected. Now watch this with quick selection tool. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go back to quick mass mode because it may not have, re have everything I want. Okay. And notice up here guys that um, there's some red up here and there's some red down here. We don't want that, but we're not going to fix that just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my paintbrush. I'm going to try to get this little section right there. And these little flat, these little feathers right there. That's good enough for me. All right. Now 
I'm going to go back out of quick mass mode and notice the section at the top is not selected. We're not going to worry about that right now. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit backspace, get rid of that background. And now I'm going to take um, and go to select and deselect. And then look, see, there's a line at the top because it didn't select it all. Now I'm going to click on the eraser tool right here. Notice that my brush is big. So if you want to make it bigger, use the bracket um, buttons on your keyboard and go ahead and click and drag on that right there. The bottom one, don't do it that way. How we're going to do the bottom one is you're going to click with the, um, you're going to use the rectangle tool and you're going to just go across with the selection rectangle tool like that. And then just hit backspace and that'll get rid of some, it'll get rid of some of your eagles, but that's okay. And then deselect, select, deselect. Okay. And that's fine. Now we can move the eagle. I shouldn't have done. Look at the feathers right there. That looks really dumb, but that's okay. Um, I didn't take my time to do this like I did the other day because um, I'm actually recording this. So what I want to do on this is just lower them like that. And it doesn't matter because we're going to make the eagle 50% um, with the opacity. See, so it's not, no, it still does, it looks ugly. Never mind, it was ugly, but oh well. All right, so there's my eagle. It looks good enough. All right, so I'm going to hide my eagle and bring the jet up and make sure the jet layer is selected. Then I'm going to go to the quick selection tool again. I'm going to highlight all around my jet. Okay, then go to quick mass mode and check it out. Look, look what I need to get rid of. Um, first of all, I can use the eraser tool to erase this line right here and this line right here to get rid of that. So that won't be affected right there. Then I need to zoom in to my jet and I'm gonna make my brush smaller. So I'm gonna hold the bracket tool, bracket keys down, and I'm gonna go ahead and paint this, oops, paint this like that, here, 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 here. I kinda went too far right here, so I'll use the eraser tool right here. Oh, look at that eraser tool, it's way too big. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Looks good. Double click on the hand tool. There's a couple little pieces down here. I think I'll zoom into those and get those. Okay, use my paintbrush tool and I'm gonna paintbrush this like that and like that. All right, so I'm gonna continue out. Double click on the hand tool. There it is. There's my background selected. Hit the backspace. Nice. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to deselect this. We are going to use free transform, edit free transform or control T, and we're going to make this smaller and hold down the space bar as we do it. Okay, there, it looks nice. And then press the check mark. All right, I put it in this corner over here. What I want to do is I want to show the eagle and the flag. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hold the alt, click on this, um, make sure the jet layer is selected, click on this, and then alt drag it to make a copy and put one back here and put one right here. Now, before you start, you may wanna change the size on them before you do that, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and you click on the move tool, click right there, go to edit free transform and change the size of this one. I'll make this one the front one, I think. Okay, I want to bring it down so I can see the eagle's head though. So probably like put it right there. Hit the check mark because you want to accept that. Put this one down here. Actually, this one needs to probably be up higher. And then bring this one right here. Okay, this one right here, I'm going to make the back one smaller. So I'm going to go to uh, free transform, make the size smaller. There it is. I don't know, I don't really like the arrangement of this, but it's good enough, okay, like that. All right, now the last thing on this project, okay, and um, the guys yesterday uh, on Friday did this. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the word America down here, type it in, hold on. Okay, there's America. What's nice about free transform with a font guys or with a type layer is you can go to free transform now and now instead of highlighting it and make it bigger and all that other crazy stuff, 
you can just click and drag on the word and make it any size you want to and make it thinner or bigger or whatever you want to do to it. See that? You can make it taller, shorter, whatever. Now, the last thing is I'm going to select this. I'm going to, on to the right of America, I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to go ahead and make it, uh, put a layer style on it. And I want to put a drop shadow and I want to put a um, uh, outer, no, wait, was it? Um, Jeez, I forgot. Oh, bevel and emboss. So let's do bevel and emboss first. Look at that. Makes it look like it's 3D. Pretty cool. And you can adjust any of this stuff if you want to. I'm going to leave it up to you. You got to click on the word bevel and emboss right here. And then I'm going to click on drop shadow right here. You can adjust the drop shadow spread. See, so check this out. You can make it more. You can adjust, adjust the size of the drop shadow. You can change the distance. And you can even change the angle of the drop shadow so it's going in a different direction. See that? Looks nice. I'm gonna make it go that way. That looks good to me. Press OK. And then I would save this as, save as a Photoshop file. So it is a Photoshop file. I would save this as America dash your last name. Okay? And I would save it. Then when you are done, after you save it as a Photoshop file, you're going to file, save as, and you're going to save it as a JPEG because this is what's going to be uploaded to Google Classroom. And this is what I'm going to grade. Save it as a JPEG. Once you save it as a Photoshop file, do that first. Save it as America dash your last name, Photoshop file. Then you're going to save it as America dash your last name and just as a JPEG. I'm not going to do that right now. And that's what you're going to upload to Google Classroom. All right? So then you go to Google Classroom and upload it. And that's it.